What a beautiful day. This is definitely a diver's life. Hey guys, this is Rich. Welcome back to Bon Air. I'm standing on the southern break wall to Harbor Village Marina. Today we're going to take you on a popular stretch of reef to dive between the Something Special dive site and the Eden Beach Resort. We're going to witness a lot of interesting fish behavior and uh, you're going to see some wrecks. It's an awesome place to dive and it's not something that dive boats typically take you to at the proper time of day. So with that, let's describe the dive in more detail. A salina or salt marsh brings all kinds of food that enters the harbor and flows out to the inlet. This food attracts small fish, which in turn attracts larger fish and on up the chain. The harbor provides safety, but you have lots of structure for fish in and outside the inlet, including wrecks. You have two break walls on either side of the entrance, lots of junk thrown over from boats and rubble piles. We will dive these areas in two out of three resort wrecks north of the inlet. The first is our confidence. This is the remains of an old wooden fishing boat that rests in about 45 feet of water off of Harbor Village Resort. And farther north is the Baca de Laman off of Eden Beach Resort. There's a tugboat wreck, the New York, north of Baca de Laman, but due to time, we will not cover that today as there is just too much to see. Due to the presence of a food source, we see lots of fish coming by the mouth of the harbor. We often experience larger fish coming in. One time while fishing here, we hooked into a small blue marlin. While filming this episode, a large nurse shark swam over my head while filming some fish behavior. I miss it as my head was buried in my camera screen trying to get the shot. The harbor is also a calm area that brings in larger fish for food. Recently we were walking to our boat and a very large yellowfin tuna broke the surface of the water to attack a school of ladyfish. The water erupted in a massive swoosh. What you need to be aware of when diving this area is currents. Occasionally you can get caught in a very strong current between the mouth of the inlet and Eden Beach. We have been caught in it in the past. You can experience it from the north or the south. Often you don't know about the current until you enter the water. Knowing the topology and exit points should remove your worry. It just might require you to take a walk. If you get carried north of the inlet, you can get out at Eden Beach or the Tui Resort just north. If you are taken south past the inlet, go up to about 30 feet, look for the coral trees, and hit in at about 40 degrees to your right and get out at the something special shore diving entrance walk up. Let's go diving. <laughs> This is the story of two divers who left the corporate world and moved to Bonaire to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is a diver's life. The water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true. So true that my life, that my life is a seashell. Is a seashell. Approaching the wall, it's something special. We feel the best time to dive this area is in low light and with lights. There are lots of fish and the camera lights bring out the colors of the reef. We often dive this site late in the day or early in the morning.
These two lionfish are at the base of the southern break wall. Now we follow the rope across the channel. The rope is at about 40 feet and well below boat traffic. The channel is a great place to observe fish behavior. A sharp tailed eel stirs up the bottom. Small fish and shrimp come out and other fish hide behind the eel to make a sneak attack. This barjack turned dark to better camouflage itself. Some of your time is spent doing cleanup. Doreen is always looking for deals. Unfortunately, this slipper will not fit. Here we have two French angelfish. Another male tries to get in on the action. Not this time. This tilefish attempts to clean itself on the sand. Here we have a blue tang and yellowhead wrasse liking this tire. Did that tilefish just drop a rock on that pile? What is it doing? It looks like it is getting another rock. It is building a nest. Photobomb by a peacock flounder? How rude! A coney. Banded butterfly fish love the rubble. After entering the Harbor Village Resort area, we come upon our first wreck, our confidence. This 60-foot wooden fishing boat was built in Denmark and was used to transport refugees during World War II. It then moved to St. Martin in the Caribbean and was used as an inter-island freighter that brought aid to the victims of Hurricane Luis in 1995. In 2003, our confidence was taking on water and starting to sink in the marina. After contacting authorities, the marina manager, Carlos Rodriguez, made the decision to tow her out to deeper water and she sunk here in April 2003. I remember diving it after it sank and it was quite a treat. Over time, the wood has rotted away and we have a steel hulk that is home to fish. This green moor is huge. His neck was a foot or 30 centimeters wide.
Although it is not the same majestic fishing boat that used to sit here with its wooden tack, it is still home to many marine creatures. Someone lost their dive fin. At this time of day, the lights really bring out the colors. We head up the slope and past the coral restoration trees at Harbor Village. The northern break wall appears and reflects on the water's surface. In the distance, we see the Harbor Village webcam. We will provide a link in the description. A spotted drum juvenile. Say cheese. A small Kubera snapper some tarpon and some yellowtail snapper. This is a massive school of ladyfish. A boat passes overhead on its way into the harbor. These ladyfish manage to stay just out of reach. The colors are just right to see these mahogany snapper and yellow goatfish against the northern break wall. Yellowfin mahara tend to swim and hover, occasionally reaching down to eat invertebrates. This sharp-tailed eel is on the move. A pair of sand divers have reddish-brown bars across the back and thin yellow-gold and or blue stripes. The camera lights just catch this green moray. Here comes a comb grouper. That eel does not like my lights and hides in the break wall. Leaving the northern break wall, we head north toward Eden Beach and the Baca de Laman wreck. This is truly a barren wasteland of just sand and rubble. It takes a while. Stay at about 15 to 20 feet higher than the 65 feet of the wreck to conserve air and look down for the wreck. Slowly, out of the blue, the sailboat comes into view. The camera lights bring out the fish and the colors ignite. We spot some Atlantic Creole fish among smallmouth grunt and sergeant majors. These plankton feeders have a reddish brown upper body, purplish sides, salmon colored underbody and a forked tail with a dark red spot at the base of the dorsal fin. The Baca de Laman wreck sunk due to high waves from Hurricane Lenny in 1999. The waves were so huge that many ships like this sailboat sought protection at Klein Bonaire. 
What was not expected was for the storm to last four days. The captain, very hungry, tired, and thirsty, took her back to Bonaire. A large wave took the boat and threw it onshore, putting a hole in it. The local people had time to clean it out and remove the mast before it was sunk to add to the reef. Again, this is why you dive at night. The sponge colors are brilliant. This is a blue striped grunt and some sergeant majors. A school of squirrel fish. Heading up towards Eden Beach, we see this large spotted mori. You would not come out. A spotted drum. White spotted filefish are usually found in pairs. Here is the swim platform at Eden Beach. We now make our turn back to something special. We pass the La Balandra restaurant and bar at the northern break wall. We then follow the rope across the channel. A tobacco fish appears out of the darkness. They tend to hover over sand and rubble near reefs. The locals like them smoked. Sorry for the pun. In the fading light, a green turtle comes down after a breath of air. We take one last look at the southern break wall. Turning towards the reef wall, we see bonefish. This is an adorable spiny porcupine fish also called the balloon fish. He looks at you like an innocent child. It is getting dark now, so we head back to the honeybee at something special. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.